Okay, so you're trying to apply conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel, but you get this error message. This type of reference cannot be used in a conditional formatting formula. Change the reference to a single cell. Let's see why we're getting this message and how to get around it. So in my example, I want all actual values that are greater than budget values to have a red background. So I'd select all the actual values. I go to conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, greater than, and then I want to compare all of these actual values with all of these budget values. So I click on OK, and that's when I get the error message. So I click on OK on the error message just to get rid of it, and I'll cancel out of the conditional formatting. Now, one thing I want you to notice is that when you make a selection that includes multiple cells, the first cell that you select doesn't have the grayed out background. So all of these cells are selected, but only one is active. And that's the cell that doesn't have the gray background. For example, if I started typing, it would type into the active cell. So when we're creating a conditional formatting rule, we're creating the rule for the active cell, and then the rule gets copied down to the other selected cells. So to get this conditional formatting to work, I'd go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules greater than, and then I select the budget that I want to compare to the active cell, that cell C2. Now it still appears as though it's not working, and that's because I have dollars in this cell reference. So at the moment, all of these actual values are being compared with C2. If I take the dollars out, and you can either manually delete those dollars or press F4 on your keyboard to get rid of them, then the conditional formatting works for me. I click on OK and I'm done. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.